laptop, right? <clears throat> yeah. So we're live. We're live. We're live. We're live? <laughs> right. Yeah. Hello. Um. So I'm Thierry Nyan, and thanks for but it's a little. The live is now loading. No, it's 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 live. We are not. We are not. We are not boss. <laughs> oh crap. Okay, All right. Um hi, good afternoon guys. My name is Theo Nyan and you're welcome to this hangout. Hopefully it's fun. Um I hear it's for 30 minutes, so it won't drag. Hopefully, I won't talk plenty. Hopefully, you would be very kind to me, be very nice to me. Please be gentle. Okay, I'm, I'm for those who do not know me, I'm 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 so not a talkative. I am very quiet, always in my zone, trying not to get into people's spaces. So please don't get in my space. You understand? Just just be be nice generally. Um, I'm sure the questions will start flowing very shortly. Um, but this I hear the the first part of it is for me to introduce myself. So I'll get to that. Um, so I'm Thierry. I'm with the sports desk here at Media General. Um, what we do is to bring you the latest in the world of sports, as you hear me say every time uh, I'm on air. Um, and of course, it's just to make sure that uh, you are also uh, informed, you know, with uh, everything that's been happening in the sports world, all the exclusive interviews uh, the entire team brings to you. Um, hope, hope you've enjoyed it over the years. Um, of course, a lot of people have set a tone for us to be here. And I need to mention some of the guys, great guys, the likes of uh, Kojo Frimpong, Elonia Mande, Michael TAJ, and a lot of the great guys that have passed through the same platform um, that have made it possible for some of us to also be here. And of course, enjoy what we do. I want to say big shout outs to them before we even get into the details. I'm sure you'll be asking a lot of questions, some pertaining to work, some pertaining to family and personal life. Well, I'm here to receive all of them. Like I said, please be gentle. Uh, for for my colleagues who are hoping to join the list, um, you, are, you must understand that mum rebeso. So mum rebeso pass. I'm I'm saying this to a few people. I'm not going to mention names, but mum rebeso. So please just be mindful. But yes, this is the hangout. Um, and for the next 30 minutes, I'm just going to be letting you into my life in a, well, to a certain extent, but letting you into my life and me also. Uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to ask questions. I hope I am. But if I'm not, then it's just you entering into my life and finding a bit part of what I do uh, at work, outside work and all of that. So I'm ready for you. I'm sure the questions will, will come in already. I'm seeing someone asking if I'm a shy person. I'm a very shy person. <laughs> Hope you didn't believe that. No, I'm not. I'm not a shy person at all. Um, I like to I like to settle in quickly if I get into new new spaces. And I think it's it's what takes off the shyness. Because I mostly am shy when I get into new spaces. I'm on, I'm unable to actually raise my head and look into faces <laughs> until until I, I I you know settle in and blend with people. So I've been notified that some of the questions are coming through. Who is theory? Okay, so let me just get to that. It's not, I don't have a tall CV. <laughs> um, I was telling one of the colleagues a few hours ago, I'm not Kofi Annan. <laughs> so I don't have, I don't have, uh, you know, such a, a, a tall, you know, CV or a, a, a long information about me. It's not, it's not a long rap sheet at all. It's just a very short one. I am Thierry Nyan. Well, I grew up in Accra, um, precisely in Dansoman. Um, I've lived in other spaces, including Kaswa, um, before returning to Dansoman and then moving away from there. Currently, I'm not, I'm not sure I'm, I'm supposed to tell you where I live precisely, but these are the places I've been um, in Accra. Um, I'm a Methodist. I'm a Christian. Um, I've been a very staunch Christian for a long while, although things have not exactly been or gone according to plan. And ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to be a pastor, but here am I, here am I reading sports news. <laughs> um, so yes, I'm a Christian, I'm a Methodist. I, I attended Mosoli High School in Dansoman. Uh, you know, after that, I did Pope John Secondary School, Methodist University after that, and then UPSA for graduate school. So 
that's exactly what it is about me. Um, is there anything else? Yes, I'm, I'm not single. I'm married. Um, I'm married with two kids. So that's another bit of me. Who is theory? Who is theory? Who is theory? Okay, so my family. Um, I've got four siblings. It's always a difficult question to ask. Tell me about you. <laughs> but I'm trying to do that. So I've got four siblings. Um, I'm the last born. Two um, ladies and then a, a gentleman who is a first born. Two ladies in between. I'm a Friday born. So if you're Kofi or Fifi out there, let's vibe. If you're an Ifwa or Ifia, let's vibe. Um, I'm a Friday born. And um, I'm Fanti, if you care to know. I'm Fanti as well. So just the basics about me. Is there anything else? I'll see. Let me just get into it then. What schools do you attend? I think I've answered that already. Um, why do you always disturb Aisha? Oh, wow. We've already gotten there. <laughs> well, Aisha disturbs me. Everything I do is reactionary. I, I only respond to Aisha. Aisha is one lady that would not let me be in TV3. She's always on my case. She sees me 100 kilometers away and will shout my name. And I have to do something. So I do something and Theory is a comedian. Theory is always fooling. Theory is always worrying Aisha. No, please, I don't. And I'm sure lots of, uh, lots of you saw my proposal to Aisha. It was, it was a very genuine one, <laughs> unfortunately. She didn't see it as such, but... It was, it was a very genuine one, but... The, the jacket I offered was not um, expensive enough to 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 be to be to be or to compensate for whatever it was that her family would have asked for. So she didn't even she didn't even listen. She didn't even give me a second a second chance. But yeah, I like Aisha a lot. I think that she's a very good person. Um, you've seen her here on the hangouts. She's the first person to have gone live with you guys. She's a fabulous person. She's someone um we love having around. She's got great positive energy. And you know it's it's good to have people like that around. People you can vibe with and you know uh, play around with um going into the question someone says why did you marry ellie like that oh charlie i married ellie eh? um i was crashing on you and i'm still crashing oh so that's a lady then oh okay so i thought it was the opposite sex well <laughs> um i don't know why you say i married ellie i didn't marry ellie you you found out i'm sure pretty shortly after you got to know me but um it's not considering my age that 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 was not ellie at all um I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but you can keep you can keep crashing. I'm I'm also crashing. I, I didn't see your picture here, but I but I'm crashing too. What program did did you read at tertiary and what school was it? Well, I did information technology. Um, I did IT, and that's because I've always had passion for gadgets. I've had passion for a lot of these things that seem to talk to us back. Um, things that are helping me um, relate with you now. So that's what pushed me to do IT. I did, a, I did a bit of NIT before going into, um, you know, to going in to get my degree at Methodist University in Dansoman. So those are the two um, schools that I studied IT in. Um, unfortunately, I, I didn't get to work with the IT um, bit too long. I, I think I, if I put everything together, it's just about a two-year experience I have in IT um, before the wind of life blew me elsewhere. And that was on media. So before media, there was... Uh, a few other things before media. We'll, we, we'll probably talk about that. Okay, so someone is asking, um, where did you work before TV3? And um, where will you go after? I think that's, that's a very interesting question, especially the latter part. Where I worked before TV3. So in media, I have done Varsat 1 and CTFM. Um, the, they are the places I've worked in media before coming here. I've done, I've done um, other jobs for um, you know several other foreign um, companies, then that's basically virtual work, uh, writing um, mostly. So writing for some websites in the UK, writing for some websites in in in, um, in the US. The US, for example, about.com, I was um, the correspondent for Chelsea um, for about.com. I also wrote for uh, Chelsea News in the UK. I wrote for Inside Football in the United Kingdom and a few other websites. So um, that's just by way of the other places I've worked besides tv3 before before media as well i worked with um intercom data network at the world trade center in accra here um and I, I was a marketing um officer there i was a marketing executive there my accurate portfolio and then you know i also worked at pfl preparation for life it's an education consultancy 
as an education consultant. So you see, I'm here and there. Like I said, wind of life keeps blowing you almost everywhere. And I move where the wind blows me. That is, if my spirit senses that it's the right thing to do. And I think so far, I've not made too many mistakes. So yeah, I worked at Latex Foam as well. So my guys at Latex Foam is the first place I worked. Um, that was my debut in my in my career. So <laughs> Latex Foam it was. So Latex Foam Preparation for Life, Intercomputer Network, CTFM, um, Varsat One, and then TV3. Um, places I've been um, in my career. So this one says, Theory, which EPL team do you support? I saw this coming. I knew it was going to come. Well, I'm a Chelsea fan. Um, I'm a diehard Chelsea fan. I know someone will be asking, ah, sports guy, pa, Chelsea fan, because I know how people who think of themselves as traditional sports lovers um, like to think that Chelsea is not exactly a great club, is not exactly um, the club you should support as a football fan. Well, I think Chelsea have done their fair bit in recent history. They, they are not exactly your go-to club if you want to look at a successful team in the 80s and the 90s or the 70s, but they have been there. They've done, they've done their part. Although not great, they rose to prominence in the 2000s. And of course, it's because of the new money. But they have stayed competitive every single time or every single season. So for those glory hunters out there, I'm, I'm, not, I'm no different. I'm also looking for where I can be happy. Chelsea make me happy. Um, I like the fact that they win laurels. I like the fact that they win trophies. And so I'm there. You can call it Women Fellowship, but Charlie, we've been okay. Blues for life, wherever you are. If you are a supporter as well. Um, this one says that, please, my friend says you say a Akuku photo. Is it true? Akuku photo. Oh, what's up? No, please, I don't stay there. <laughs> I don't stay at Akuku photo. <laughs> Why this question anyway? Which friend? I, I wish you can just follow it up though, but it says that my friend says you stay at Akuku photo. Who sends this? Who sends this one? Because I see Kawa's name by it. Kawa, is that you? <laughs> yeah, for Sulabi. Hope that's not you. <laughs> he says that how do you relate to your other sports colleagues in the office? It seems you and Yafosu are brothers. Yes. So Yao is my G, you know. So if you are in TV3, almost everyone at TV3 calls us brothers. And that's because we vibe a lot. We we get along on different levels. Um he's uh he's like a brother. I mean, you you mentioned right there, he's like a brother to me. Um we talk, we we talk about personal things. We talk about other things. We we just vibe, and it's basically because we are in the same office. We seem to laugh, at, uh, you know, at the same issues. So we we get on people's nerves in the company, but it's fine. I mean, it's all to keep the positive spirit in the in the in the in the office going. And Yao has been a very 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 good person in, in TV three with me here. I love I love what he does. I love his spirit. If you are in the same office with me, you'll see me always trying to engage him, and that's because I just love how he chats. I love the person he is. I love his friends, although I'm not friends with them, but I'm not exactly the friend, friend, friend type. So I just love the way he he seems to be um, very cool with people. And I think that 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 makes him a great person. People like his personality and that's good. Um, this one says, what at all has Alfred Okansi done to you to deserve such worries? Alfred. So Alfred, to me, so when Alfred joined TV3, um he 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 connected with me quickly and that's the reason you see um you know the way i am with him you know some of the videos you see around when you see me worry after please don't take it too personally um i've seen some comments under some of the videos and people think that i'm harassing him people think that i should be i should be queried and suspended by my hr please 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 you don't understand <laughs> i am troublesome alfred is a recipient of people who are troublesome, you understand? So he's a quiet type, always looking for people like us, and I entertain him. I try to make him happy. Um, so that's that's what it is. I, I only try to make sure that at least my colleagues are are getting um, what they should be getting in the office. I'm a bubbly person. I don't know why I should come here and be uptight and try to be quiet. And one sometimes I, I zone in like that, but a lot of the time what I do is to try and um, give them something they, they would go home and laugh about you know some of these things you you encounter you encounter in the, in the course of the day you go home and you are you are you are all grinning and and it's because of some positive thing that happened in the course of the day and i like to uh you know give people fun memories so yeah that's it this one says how did you meet your wife i know who sends this <laughs> how did you meet your wife anyway so um we met in school um we we met in school we connected and you'd be surprised we we had been in the same school but 
we we never we never really spoke or even spoke until the very last semester of the last year. So that was when we connected. Um, one thing led to the other. Here we are. Do you think the cure of coronavirus will come soon? Ah, Charlie. Ah, who is this? <laughs> Do you think the cure of coronavirus will come soon? Giovanni, Giovanni, I was just told you were the one. Do you think coronavirus will come soon? <laughs> Giovanni Caleb, please don't be asking me such questions. I do not work for WHO and I'm, I'm, I am not a doctor, please. In any case, if anyone is looking for the cure of um, the coronavirus, maybe they, they should um, look in between the teeth, the two front teeth of Giovanni. You know, something should be stuck up there that would heal the world. There's something stuck up there between the teeth. You see that big space between Giovanni's teeth, the two frontal teeth? It's not friendly. Just don't joke with Giovanni. Don't, don't joke with Giovanni's friends. He bites and it's poisonous. The teeth. Giovanni, I see you. <laughs> anyway, um, so I'm sure more will be coming soon. Um, as the questions come, I will be um, answering them as and when. But I, like I said, please be... Please be friendly. Don't, don't. Someone says I have missed football. Um, Albert Quau. He says I've missed football. I've missed football too, to be honest. I've missed football because I thought we were in for such a great season. Liverpool were walking away with the title. Liverpool fans, where are you? <laughs> but I mean, you still have it. You still have it. I my gut feeling says that the 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 season will be completed in the Premier League. Um, I think that Liverpool have done far too much to to just not um you know be given the title it was so painful i'm not a liverpool fan but i'll feel for them um the ideal thing is that asu asu die is saying but i can't be because Charlie Mabuijuma, Mabuijuma, you've beating you've beating everyone fair and square yeah for sulabi says hey you like buffy so oh charlie yeah kawawa kawawa you introduced me to buffy's eh now you are selling me out you introduced me to buffy's kawa i miss you anyway you should come back to the office eh? the office may quiet pass if we come back <laughs> but yeah um back to football i'm looking i'm looking forward to the season resuming i just miss football it should just come back go for a short commercial break and resume next season that's all all of us football lovers that's what we're looking for a lot of people are talking about uh, how the players are going to be bent out i don't think i don't think about they getting bent out reason is simple they are getting paid top dollar really <laughs> they, they must end their salaries it's that simple um, Rita Kandi says that what's your highest level of education? Well, a master's degree. Um, this one says, Winnie Wincy says, which year did you marry? I married in 2017. I married in 2017. Um, why do you always dress to impress? How do you know I dress to impress? Do you know my wardrobe? Anyway, so we'll be looking at um, a lot more of your questions. But he says, why do you dress to impress? Ah, Charlie. <laughs> uh, this one from Kawa says that, um, why do you like movements? <laughs> So an inside joke I'll just share with you. So um, it's about um, a lady in, the, in our office here in TV. I'm not going to mention her name. She comes to me and says, Thierry, um, I want series. I said, I don't have series. And then she says, oh, what about movements? Movements. Like, I was wondering if it's a moving taxi. Movements. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> so I'm sure that's what Kawa is referring to. And um, this one, Eames. Thierry, what car do you drive? Eames, what car do you drive? Hmm? What car do you drive, Eames? Anyway, I drive a Honda. I'm a Honda freak. So um, I'm always in a Honda. Um, this one says, are you an athletic person? And do you do any sports? Well, I play football. I, I don't want to think of myself currently as an athletic person. But I had always been in high school. Um, I used to run. Um, but I, I play football as well. If I get a chance, even now, I would play football. If you ask me to just take off this jacket and go play football, I will. That's how much in, um, passionate I am about football, playing it, and of course, watching it as well. So I'm a football person generally. Um, what's the meaning of your surname? Do surnames have meanings? It's Nyan. It's Fanti. Um, I, I don't know if there's a meaning to it, but well, I have, I have not bothered to ask any of my um, elderly, the elderly in my family. Um, I've, not, I've not bothered to ask anybody there. It's just a surname. So theory Nyan. Do you hold the conviction that your Ama Mata Pojos is the best boys' school. Why not? Is this even a question? I don't care whatever school you attend or you watching out there. Pope John, if you're a Pojoba, please. Pojoba, that's a bre. Eh? School, papa. You can say anything you want. Pope John 
is the best boy school around. Leave affiliations aside and be real with your response. Okay, I didn't see this one. <laughs> I didn't see this one. Then maybe I'll go for Infant Spim. I've always been um, an Infant Spim lover. I think that Infant Spim such a great school. Not just for the things they did in the past. I think that they, they definitely are, um, you know, a top, 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 top school. But I should think that Pope John should challenge them <laughs> for whatever reason. Um, I know people who who attended um, Augustine's. I give the respect to Augustine's. But Adis could put him in this meter crowd. Adis Adel. What's up? Adis Adel. No, no, no. Adis Adel, they're saying since Mary's near the idea. You understand? I think since Mary's near Accra Girls. I mean, when I was growing up, I said I wanted to attend Accra Boys. So you see, I love Accra Girls. <laughs> it's not that simple. Anyway, so um, you're a lover of books. What book transformed your life? Mine is the holy book. Okay, so I'm guessing you're, you're, you're mentioning Bible. The Bible did a great job in my life, to be honest with you. It shaped my, my teenage life. Um, had I not found the Bible, I think that I would have been a different person. So the Bible definitely shaped my life in a very strong way. And I like the fact that um, the Bible formed me. In, in 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 the most parts of it although i've not exactly left all the words in the bible but uh, the bible has definitely been a very very important part of my um life but going forward novels and all recently i've loved since 2017 i've loved gone girl i've loved in the past a time to kill by john grisham gone girl was by gillian flynn for anyone interested she's done books like sharp objects um the, uh, dark in dark places that is other books like um the kind worth killing very interesting book if you are a, if you're a book freak then i'm sure you'd uh, love books like that as well so i like the crime fiction the the psychopath books as well um this one says have you ever been to the upper east to cover sports news no i have never have, have you seen anyone there like that looks like me no i have never anyway i i i get i get a lot in town i i get people asking me if i'm a northerner no i'm not a northerner uh, for the record i'm i'm a fancy i'm from salt pond um i am not I am not a, a, a Northerner. Someone says, Puyo says, please don't skip Giovanni's questions. Please, I'm skipping all of them. <laughs> Giovanni is too mischievous. I'm not going to be answering any more of his questions. I've even answered one already. When you cry. Um, this one, Savia Gloss says, how old are you? Well, late 80s born, so you can just calculate my age. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> um, okay, so I'll go back to this one. Have you, okay. This one says, League One is canceled by their prime minister. Can you confirm? Well, maybe when I got into the studio then, because I've not followed that bit. Um, League N cancelled? No. Uh, officially cancelled, what we know, is the Dutch um, for the For the French League, no. Uh, nothing I can confirm to you now. Maybe it came just a few moments ago. Of course, there are discussions of the German League returning, the Premier League returning. Um, if okay, well, I'm getting it that it has been cancelled. So yes, that is the com the confirmation you have there. The French League air has been cancelled. Uh, I'm sure you get the details of that later, 7 p.m. right here on TV3. Just keep watching TV3. Of course, our affiliate stations on your TV and uh, 3FM on your FM. You can just follow all of these platforms for all of these details when it comes to sports news. They say you talk too much. Is it true? <laughs> oh man. I am paid to talk, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I don't know who sent this question, but I'm paid to talk. I don't walk about talking. That makes me a madman. But I talk about things that interest me. I talk about people. I talk about my colleagues. I like to engage people. I like to give fans. For example, one of my favorite bosses, fans is Doku. Anytime I see him, Lord Doku, Lord Doku, I shout it everywhere. Uh, Mr. Afo, Auntie B. I mean, okay, well, Auntie B, Charlie, see you. You know, if you give him fans, things like that. You know, some things can delay your salary. <laughs> you know, so you try, you know where you play. <laughs> so, um, but I mean, mostly I play a lot with my colleagues because I'm a very lively person. I try to be bubbly wherever I go because I think smiling, laughing, having positive energy is what sustains our life. I, you can't walk around this world, be uptight, mm -hmm. think that the world belongs to you and lift your shoulders above everybody else's. No. So it's good to vibe. It's good to talk. It's good to play around and that's exactly what i do um this one says what things motivate you um a lot of things first of all my mom um she's always been a proper supporter of everything i do and um, she's been behind me um for um you know for a very long time and i appreciate everything she's done for me in my life for every time she's held a fort for me she's everything she's done to just keep me afloat um i appreciate her for that 
she's more than a mother to me. Um, so she definitely is one person I look up to and know I need to keep working hard. Um, other things that motivate me a lot. I look at my senior colleagues and I, and I think you need, to, you need to be like these people. How can you not, how can you not be motivated when you work closely with Michael O'TJ? I mean, he's, he's the best around. Um, he's, he's definitely, you know, a professional when it comes to work. He doesn't joke with what you call work. And he's, he's someone that inspires me a lot. Talking about people who probably inspire me, presentation, I'll say John Dykes, that guy is cool. He, he speaks the English like he owns it. He, he has a very good command of everything that he does. He controls the show. He, he seems on top of every single action. And that's exactly what you want in a presenter, someone who gives you what you want in a very relaxed way. And that's John Dykes for you. For a writer, Yafo Sulabi is a very good writer. He's someone that I always say can always do great things, great, great, great things. And I think time would, would just take him there. Um, Fifi Anaman is also in there as a very great writer. Um, he's, to me, one of the best writers we have in the country. Um, Gary L. Smith does very well with the writing as well. Um, so, yeah, so there's a lot of motivation around. You just look around and you see motivation. Not everybody will give you that motivation. Not everybody will give you what you want, but a lot of people will do um, a lot of people would, um, would, would inspire you in, in, in different ways. Um, Giovanni says he's on radio, so I should answer his question and then let him go. Why? Well, I'm not going to answer your question. Please enjoy your work. Okay, work. Drive people home. 3FM drive, Giovanni, please drive. Okay, I'm not answering your question. Um, this one says, 10 years from now, where do you see yourself? Woo, that's a tough one. 10 years from now, 10 years, 10 years, super sports, owning my own company, still doing sports because sports, it's a passion. So if this company will permit me, then the dream is to own my own company and, and, and come and do the sports, you know, because it definitely is something I love doing. So that's what I, that's why I see myself 10 years from now. Um, maybe Sky Sports. That is, if they consider me good enough. If you consider me good enough to, to even recommend me, I will go. Why not? <laughs> anyway, so uh, this one says, what's behind personal Tali you normally talk about with Miss G? Oh, so I'll tell you. So I love the story. So Miss G comes to work in a very lovely dress. I'm like, you you dressed really well. Then she says, it's my personal Tali. <laughs> I'm sorry she forgot what it meant. Uh, or w w what it was called in English, I'm, I'm sure. She just said, it's my personal in Tali. And we went with it. So everything is in Tali now, going forward. Um, this one says, "What? Uh, who do you look up to in, in the sports industry? I just mentioned John Dykes for presentation. I mentioned Michael O'Seaj for the journalistic point of view. Um, there are some great guys out there. For writing, Martin Samuel um, in the UK, um, uh, for all, the, all those who have not read a lot from Henry Winter, I would suggest you do that. He does much reports in seconds. <laughs> you should you should just um, you know Google Henry Winter as well. He's moved from the Telegraph, and I think he's with the Times now. Um, locally, Fifi Anaman, uh, Michael O'TJ mm -hmm. comes up again. Um, I mentioned Yafo Sulabi. He's a great writer. I work with him here. He's a great chap. Um, Gary Al Smith and a few other guys. Really, really, really great. Um, this one says, aside sports, what else do you enjoy doing? Okay, so I'm not really your outing person. So the moment I'm done with work, I'm going home. What I do at home is none, none of your business. <laughs> but I am not, I, I don't drink, for example. Um, I don't clap. I wish sometimes I could do some of those things, but I'm, I'm unable to do them. I have never been able to do that. So I just go home. My colleagues sometimes say I'm boring, but it's fine. I go home, I watch my movies, I watch my series. If it's time to play video games like FIFA, Call of Duty, I do that. If you are a FIFA champ out there, I challenge you. If you're a Call of Duty champ out there, I challenge you. Um, someone is already hitting his chest, <laughs> but I know he can't me. <laughs> um, other things like sleep. I'm not really a sleeper. I, I struggle to sleep. I struggle to sleep. Uh, but when I do, I think I go deep and for a very short while. Uh, my life is about work. Not necessarily working, working, working when I'm in when I'm at work, but I'm mostly at work. So that's what my life has been. I've spent most of my time here in the office. Um, 
I have heard you plan on leaving TV3 for multimedia. That's not true. No, that's not true. Um, I, I don't intend doing that. I'm not sure what your source is, but that's a very, very, very bad source. Please don't, don't ever go to that source for any more information. Thierry, who is your favorite player and what's your favorite team? Um, so my favorite player has been Thierry Henry, not because he has my name, but I think he's a king. There's a reason he's called a king. He does it effortlessly. Um, so for my favorite player, that's it. For my favorite sports person, it's not a football person, unfortunately. Uh, that's Roger Federer. He's my favorite um, sports uh, or my favorite athlete, you know, across all sports. Roger Federer, he's such a great chap. <laughs> you know, you don't, you don't see him do, a, you know, out there with all the negative news, with all the negative vibes. He's, he's just out there on the court playing, uh, you know, tennis as coolly as possible. Um, so, yeah. But for football, it's Thierry Henry. Frank Lampard follows Ronaldinho for what he did in three years. Great guy. Zinedine Zidane. A few others. But yeah, that's the order. Um, this one says, what's with you and short people? Oh, how did you know whoever you are? <laughs> okay, so I, I tease I tease a lot. And so the short guys around here, I only tend to tease them, you know, comparing them to tabletop fridges. But yeah, tabletop fridge, short guy. I think it just... It just, you know, goes like that. So it's not like I have a thing against short people. It's just me daying them at top. You understand? Um, when did you join Media General? That was in 2015. I, I joined Media General from, at the time, I was working at both CTFM and Vars at one. So I left Vars at one and CTFM and joined uh, Media General. And that was in 2015. So um, that's, um, that's it. Who is your biggest support? I mentioned my mom, my wife too. Um, also very, very great support. She's always there behind me, asking me questions about things I'm probably going through. The moment my mood changes, she realizes she's always behind me asking what she can do to help, trying to advise. I take some of them, I don't take others. I'm not going to pretend that I take everything, but I take some of them, I take others. I don't take others, sorry. Um, we bear the consequences, but yeah, those are two people that are solidly behind me. Um, a lady called Patience as well has also been very, very, very influential, um, you know, in the latter part of my life. So, yeah, that is it. I'm, I don't want to, I intentionally decided not to mention the full name, but yeah. This one says, what was your first experience um, the very first time you went on air? When I was done, I was clapped for. But I remember very well that I was absolutely nervous. And that was Advice at One. No, actually, no. So the first time I hosted a show was Advice at One. But the first time I was on air was on GTV. And that was years before. Um, so I did GTV as guest. I did, um, you know, Advice at One as guest. And then the following week, I was called to begin work. It, it just happened like that. For some people who have asked how I got into the media space. Um, so, yeah. But when I was a guest, I, I, was, I think I was very free. I, I, I didn't think I was nervous. But my first time hosting a show, trust me, the chills within me, the chills within the veins weren't, weren't simple at all. Um, because it was the first time I was on that platform. It's not like I was working in that company for a long time and I was used to the people there. I was used to, no, no, no. Everything for me was new. I was just thrown right into the action. So my first time was nervous. I was clapped for, for some reason, people were clapping for me when I was done. And I didn't understand why, because they didn't feel what I feel probably. This one says, how do you calm down when you are under pressure? I used to bite my nails, but I heard it wasn't gentlemanly, so I stopped. Now, what I do is to just try and think about the positive things in my life, to think about my, my boy, Cuckoo, um, to think about all the funny things he says. You know, it, it, it calms me down a lot. When, when, it, when I get agitated, when, I, when, when someone gets on my nerves or when anything gets on my nerves, I like to think of him because he barely, rarely gets on my nerves. He doesn't. I love him to bits, so um, he is a great karma, that as, as it is. Um, this one says, have you made any decision you regret? Yes, I have. I have two, actually. Um, the second part I cannot mention, but the first part was um, something that happened in family as well. It was something I did to one of my siblings that I, I regret totally till today. If I had a second chance to do that, I'm not sure I would ever do that. Um, but everything happens for good. So that also happened in a way that opened different doors in different ways. 
um, that got me here. So, yeah, um, that is it about decisions that I regret. If you could change anything about yourself, what would you change? My temper, I think. Um, I play a lot. And I think for people like us um, who play a lot, I think that you, you tend to shift to the other side quickly as well. Um, I, sometimes I wish people understand me. Not to understand the fact that I get angry, but to understand, you know, things that lead to the anger. And I wish we'll never get there. But yeah, that 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 is it when it comes to um, things that I wish I could change. I really wish I could change that. I'll run through some of the um, questions that I'm seeing here. I'm, I'm sorry if I'm if I'm unable to answer all your questions, but I answer as I see them. This one says, "Theory, who constructed the really?" Okay, so uh, theory. Ten years from now, where would you, where should we be expecting to see? I think I've answered that already. And um, this one says I should answer him, um, Ruth Chisola. Well, you didn't quote your question, so I'm not sure what question it was you asked. Um, okay, theory. How would you describe Anita Kufu? She's a great person. She's a great individual. Um, she's a colleague here at Media General. Um, she's a beautiful person, inside out, <laughs> and um, she she is not your usual quiet girl. So we vibe a lot um, and all of that. She's she's just a fun person to be with. Um, this one says that. Hi, Theory. Are you a lawyer? I think I've seen a lawyer sticker on your car. I'm not answering that. Uh, a lot of us are crashing on you. What are you doing about it? Whoa. Nana Anyema Collison. I love you too. It's all I can say. <laughs> I love you too. It's all I can say. Anyway, um, let me just move on. Do you see yourself stopping or do you see yourself stop doing sports stuff and maybe concentrating on IT? But do you but you inspire me a lot and I want to I want us to be friends. I want to be like you. Thank you very much for the kind words, Peter Della. Uh, you asked if I see myself um, you know, quitting sports. Well, I just might. Um, I didn't set out to do sports. But it's it's not it's not something that found me. Um, sorry, it's not something I found. It's something that found me. Um, you know, better put. So I have the passion to talk about sports. I you should see me talking about sports. I'm screaming all over the place. Um, so it's not something I, I I intend to stop. I might get into other things, but I will not stop doing sports. We have just two minutes. So if you have any more questions, just keep them coming. I think we've skipped quite a number of them, and but that, that's because we have so many other questions coming through. Um, this one says, is TV3 going to be telecasting the Champions League and the Europa League? Well, um, we'll, we'll, we'll see about that next season. For this season, of course, it's, it's, it's almost done. So we are not definitely not doing that. And um, we don't have the rights for that this season. But of course, going for next season, we just might. So just, you know, um, stay tuned. This one says, um, how did you end up at TV3 and how has the journey been like? Well, it's been, I wouldn't say it's been a smooth journey. But it's been smoother than most, to be honest. I have to be grateful. Um, so, like I said, I did other, um, you know, jobs before getting myself into the media space. I started off as a guest. I was on CTFM first, and did a few other, um, you know, shows around, you know, a, a lot of the media houses around. Um, and then Vasat took me on after one guest appearance there. So I did one guest appearance on Football 360 on uh, Vasat one one Sunday. On Monday morning, I was called to begin if I wanted to work with Vasa One. I thought it was really straightforward. Really, what did you see? But yes, one thing led to the other. I started a few months after. Um, fast forward, I've done, I've done a few things with Metro TV. I've done a few things with GH1. I've done a few things with Milton Multimedia, both radio and TV. Um, and then I ended up again at CTFM, this time as a worker. So CTFM and then um, Vasa One. Before I moved to TV3, um, in 2015, and of course, it's been TV3 since. But of course, like I said earlier, I've done several other things like writing. So if you searched around, you would see uh, some of my work that I've done for Inside Football in the United Kingdom, for About.com in the, in the United States, uh, for Chelsea News in the United Kingdom, and a few others um, that I've done for Kinfoots, you know, talk about African football that I did sometime in 2013 or 2012 uh, in a website in Egypt that I did African football for. So that is it. Someone says, where is Aisha? Well, she's somewhere in the newsroom working. She, you'll be seeing her on your screen uh, very shortly. But 
I'm being prompted that we are we are ending. So I should be doing my outro. A lot of people meet me in town and they say, well, I like how you mention your name. Thank you very much. What food do you, can you cook? Let me answer this before I go. Indomie. I'm a champion.